welcome to Trekkies Gaming Adventures, and welcome once again to Minecraft. This time, I'm going to take you through the creation of a new world, and how to survive the first night. Or rather, how I survive the first night. There's many different ways you can do it, but being me, typical lazy bloke, I like to do it the easiest way possible. So, first of all, we need to create a new world. So you go into the Minecraft options, so where we've got Play Game, highlight that. I'm currently offline so that no friend request comes up. And we go to Create New World. Now then, normally you can choose if you wanted it to be an online game or invite only if you're online, but in this case, we're not going to be having that because I'm not online. Anyway, world name, what am I going to call it? Uh, oh, Ross. That will do. Seed for the world generator, we'll call this the same thing, I think. Then uh, you can create exactly the same world yourself if you wanted to. Fusteros. There we go. Difficulty, normal. Create new world. Right then. Generating spawn areas, this is a lot slower than the PC version. The PC version makes a much bigger map in a tenth of the time. But the Xbox gets there eventually. Hopefully, as the development of Minecraft on Xbox comes along, the maps will be bigger. But it's certainly more than big enough at the moment for your first steps in Minecraft. Oh, come on, load up already. This video is going to be 6 gigabytes in size before it's even started. <laughs> what? Oh, nope, still not loaded yet. in a snowy zone. I didn't realise there was snowy zones in this, because there, there wasn't one on my previous map. Now, this is quite handy actually. It's a great area for a little uh, hovel over here. Bleh. Got some sheep in the area as well. Anyway, start off with, I need some wood. So, punch the tree down. Once I've got some wood, the next step is to create a uh, crafting table, which is going to allow me to make tools, and then I'll be able to harvest things much, much quicker than what I am here. So, let's have a look. Crafting is the X button on this, so if you hover or move along to the items, you can see what you need. Where it says crafting table at the bottom, it tells you the items you need, and you press X shows you the ingredients and description for the table. So I need four wooden planks to make a crafting table. To make wooden planks I need wood which is why I've just harvest so press A button to harvest and create this wood. Now we'll go over to the crafting table. Hello Mr. Sheep. And there we go, we've got a crafting table. Where did that sheep go? Oh, oh this is too tempting, I've got to get this wool. Come here. Bang. Naked sheep. I'm gonna freeze to death, Mr. Sheep. I'm doing this just so I can make a bed for later on. Right then, it's quite handy. I put my crafting table here, I think. Left trigger places the crafting table, and again, left trigger opens crafting table. Now you see I've got lots more items I can make. So, first one, make a bed. Now, need some more wood so I can make some tools. So I've got some sticks, right, pickaxe, spade, axe, another axe. That'll do me nicely. Let's go and cut down some more trees. Because I need to make a door. And I need to make uh, a furnace so that I can make some torches. have a look. Nine for a door, yeah. More wooden planks. Right, there we go. I've got a door. I'll do some pickaxing. Where there's some stone. Uh, shovel for this. There we go. I can hear 
hear a spider somewhere around here. Now I'm just going to cut out a basic 3x3 three three room for this. And then with the wood I've got and this uh, cobblestone that I'm creating here should be more than enough to get me through the first night. Okie doke. Let's go back to the crafting table. There's something nasty going on around there. I can hear it. it. Must be close to a cavern. Right. Furnace. One furnace. That's what I need. Right. We'll go and put the furnace into our little house. And we'll dump that there. Now, wood. I need more wood. I need some wood as fuel, and I need some wood to charcoal. And then, with that and some sticks, I can make some torches to illuminate our little pad. That should do it. Back we go. Don't worry, the sheep won't be naked forever, they'll grow back the wool tomorrow, and then it can harvest it again. So I'm putting half of the wood in fuel and half in ingredients. Now you see it's lit up, it's burning away, and it's going to create some charcoal. So we'll leave that burning. Go and get a little bit more wood. Now real hardcore Minecraft players are going to be absolutely devastated that I'm leaving these tree canopies just hanging in the air and not clearing it out. But these are hanging in the air because there's usually like one block of wood left at the top that you can't quite reach. So you would need to jump up, plant a block of wood, go back to your axe and chop it. Oh, we've got another one. Alright, then be a pain. Back again. Oh, you sod. Come on, then. Yeah, that's the last one. And now you can see the canopy's starting to degrade a little bit. Chop this back down. Oh, right. Let's get back to our little hovel. Where's the sun? It's about midday at the moment. Ooh, got water. That's the cavern. That's where all them noises are coming from, I'm sure. But that's alright, they can't get out from there. Let's have a look in here. There's charcoal. Give me charcoal. Lots of charcoal. Right, I'm going to put a crafting table in here as well. Uh, let me see. Dump that. Crafting table there. Uh, that'll do. Some sticks. There we go. Torches. Bam. 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 Lovely. Twelve tor torches we got there. Put one there. One there. And one there. And one there. Right, let's plant our door. And that is actually enough for you to survive the night if you wanted to uh, wait that long. But we're going to do things slightly different. I'm going to see if we can go this way one. Yeah. Can I plant a bed in there? I can't remember. Yes, I can. When it comes to dark time and the monsters come out, if you sleep in a bed, not only does it change your spawn point should you die to the bed, but it also advances time forward to the next day. So, here we go. We're ready for the night now. I'm going to pick this uh, crafting table back up and take it with me for later. Actually, we shall make some chests as well. What do I need for that? I need more wood. There we go. One, two, yep. So you've got chests. Plant one there. But you can also plant one next to it and it becomes a double chest. Hurrah! Storage. So dump that, dump that, dump that. 
there's our map which is where we are in the world we'll put that there for now it shows you in a snowy zone we've got green over there let's go ahead out in this direction cool so these are all blocks of ice here ooh the waterfall awesome so now we're just waiting for night time to come I love exploring new maps for the first time. You never know what you're going to find. Piggies! Oh, come here. I want, some, I want your bacon. Give me some bacon. Thank you. When we get back home, we can put the uh, bacon slices into the furnace, and that's food for later on, which gives us health back. Ooh, red flowers. Handy for red dye. We'll take them. Could kill the cow for leather, for armor, but we don't need that just yet, so we'll leave them be and be nice to them. We'll just be horrible to pigs. Ooh, some reeds over here, or sugar cane. Changed the name of it a couple of times now. God knows what they're calling it this week. So we shall harvest this as well, because it's handy for paper. Get me way out. That's nicely. Okay, oh, we've got a floating little island over there. Chickens! Any eggs? Come on, want your eggs. I want your feathers. Give me your feathers. Come on, thank you. And now we're back into sand and snow, which is a very odd contradiction. But very bizarre seed, this one. Don't forget, you can load this your seed yourself by using the seed of uh, Fusteros. Ooh, we might be getting into some caverns. Oh, this looks too tempting to not explore. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, it looks like it's starting to get night time, so better hurry back. Where was I? This is where the map comes in handy. This way. Uh, I'm not going to get back in time, am I? Still give you a chance to see the monsters. Uh, where was I? I've gone completely turned around. Oh no, it's getting sunset. Uh... <laughs> yes, thank you. Ah, here we go. This bit looks familiar. Yes, there we go. <laughs> we'll just wait and see if we can see some nasties come to life. Oh, the moon's coming up. Is there anything? Bound to be some skeletons and zombies and God knows what else. Oh, wolves got wolves back. Thank you. Oh, we generated a chicken. There we go. Zombies over here, look. Was it? Oh, it's skeletons, actually. Not zombies, beg your pardon. Ah, it's firing arrows at me. Oh, die, 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 die. Oh, better get out of here. Run! It's too scary. Oh, what's this down here? Oh, lava. Oh, that's dead handy, having that so close. Got to get back, got to get back. Ah. Boom, safety. Shut the door, they can't get in. We are perfectly safe in here. Let's go to bed, so click on the bed. You've got bubbles for the night. Night, night, sleep tight. And here we are, next day. Sun's just come up, you can see the zombies burning in the distance there sunlight's killing them off. And that is how to survive your first night in Minecraft with very little effort needed. Some people love to build log cabins in the first day and all sorts, but you, you don't need to go to that much extent. You just need somewhere to lay your head and basically just be able to shut the door on you to keep the monsters out. You don't even need a bed, but we were lucky. We had a seed with some sheep. And so that is the first night. So, we shall save this here.
and then the next video we'll continue on from here we'll start looking at making a mine uh, getting more resources and seeing what we're going to build from it seeing as we've got an icy place Ooh, I'm not sure maybe a nice fortress that would be quite cool we've got loads of ice we can uh, harvest but we'll think about it anyway during the next video so anyway until then next time have fun minecrafting and bye bye now